stuff with the chuck walla. Go ahead and sit back down while we talk about it. So this actually is not an iguana. He is somewhat similar to iguanas, except they come from the desert. So they do have very that's dry skin. Lizard, that's a it is a desert lizard. So what's cool about chuck wallace is they actually fill their bodies up with air. If they feel threatened, they'll fall into a tight space, fill up with air, and that'll make it really hard to pull them out of that space. Not only that, but it makes them look bigger, and they can release that air to make that hissing sound. Now, Ooh. since they come from the desert, I, water I've is very scarce. So they've adapted to not needing to drink a lot of water. But they do still rely on the food to get their hydration. Can anyone guess what kind of foods they eat in the desert that might hydrate them? What's your guess? I think it's like desert bugs. Not quite, not bugs. They're actually herbivores. They eat plants, that's right. Can you guess what kind of plants you might find in the desert? Cactuses! Cactuses, any other guesses? Well, cactus is the biggest thing because cactus actually contains a lot of water. So they get, yes, fruits, they eat fruits as well, but that they'll get all of their hydration from that cactus or any other plants that contain water. All right, we're gonna combine that. Everyone feel them. Just remember, we're gonna use one or two fingers like this. Can everyone show me one or two fingers? Thank you, just like that. And gently on their back, okay? We're not gonna touch them on the head because we don't want to poke their eyes, okay? I want to touch them All right, just stay in your seat. Everyone, okay? We're gonna hold them at the end. I want to touch it. I don't want to. I don't want to touch it. I don't. I want to touch it. I want to touch it. I want to touch it. Do you have another lizard here? I want to touch it. I want to touch it. I know what that is. Good job. You're so brave. See that Euromastix? Do you have a spiky tail? Although it really doesn't hurt too much. When you come by, you can gently touch your tail if you want. These guys are also herbivores, and they also don't drink a lot of water. But what's cool about this guy is he's an Egyptian Euromastix, the largest species. So he's actually going to get over three feet long as an adult. And right now he's just a baby. But I think that's the Not really. This one just has spikes on his tail. Good job. Yeah, it doesn't hurt, right? You want to feel it, buddy? You sure? Really? Oh, really? So that means he has a co-dominant trait that allows him to be these two different colors. A lot of people actually think he's shedding, but he's not. He will always be these, this pattern, which is really unique to him, and it'll just grow with him as he gets bigger. He is one of our softest snakes, too, so when you feel him, just feel him down like this with one or two fingers. Okay, he's really soft and he's really friendly. Thank you. He's not poisonous and he's not venomous. Now, the reason this guy's actually called a ball python is because they're a very shy snake and they will just blow up into a ball if they get scared and try to protect their head. That makes them a very popular position. These three large and some are really small. This guy's not going to get any bigger than this. He's actually called a western popular snake. Luke, you want to be in the video? They kind of look like a pig's nose, and they use that to burrow underground. Another cool thing about them is that these guys get scared, they'll flatten their heads and pretend to be a rattlesnake, and that'll scare away anything that might be after them. But if that doesn't work, what they do is they'll roll over and they'll play dead, and they'll try to trick any predators into thinking he's no longer alive, so they'll lose interest in them. Now, a cool thing about him right now is that he's actually about to shed. So his underside is usually a dark black color. Right now, it's kind of a bluish gray color. That's because he's about to shed out of his skin. And it'll normally just come out in one long piece and they just slither out of it. Oh, 
They can pinch, actually. You're right. They also have a stinger on the end of their tail that does have venom. Thankfully for me, his venom is only... Their venom is only as strong as a bee's venom, so it's actually not very potent compared to some and other scorpions. But if you ever see a scorpion in the wild, don't mess with them because some have way stronger venom. Hey, uh, those are venomous. It's okay. Now, a good thing that you can also keep in mind, if you go somewhere that has a lot of scorpions and you don't want to accidentally step on one, you can use a black light if it's dark out and they will glow a really bright blue or green color, making it really easy to spot them. That way you don't accidentally step on one. Because that's what usually makes it more likely for them to try and sting you. Isn't that cool? Now, does anybody have any questions about the No, no, no. Okay, that's, that's Roman's like younger, younger. Not just any flashlight, it actually has to be a black light. Otherwise it won't glow. It's similar to when you go to one of those places with a white shirt and it has those blue lights that make it glow. It'll look very similar to that. I think so. Wait, but why does it glow like that? I'm going to be playing I'm going to be Marin, will you tell Roman they can hold him now? Why you get back by this Oh boy. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Roman, now support him over here so he doesn't fall. Oh, he's giving your arm a hug. Here, look over here. Can you hold this one up too? No, you sure? All right, we'll get even more You want to take off? Yeah, this one. Oh, my God. Teo. 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 Hold on, you gotta wait your turn. Mama! You drink it, my candy! I Did you hold the Go to mom. I got you. Hey, cheese. Oh, man. This is our smallest thing we have. You want to kiss it? You want to kiss a stick? Oh, uh -uh. I love the one I'm Mommy, it's okay. It's okay. But I want to kill you. 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 I call, I call him my son. Oh, he's good and then not good. Oh, but she does too. Remind me of me, Isabella. So, bro, that's so funny. Oh, he's not mine. You want me to take it? Excuse me, I want to. I know you do. You're next. Come on over. You want to go too? And do you want to hold it?